Hello friends, welcome to next lecture in video series in engineering drawing in mechanical engineering. So friends, we will be seeing chapter number 2 projection of straight lines in this video. We will be discussing about the different cases that is the orientations of lines in the first quadrant. So to know what are these different cases and how to do these projections of straight line, please stay tuned with this video lecture. So before we begin friends, I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not yet subscribed. Please like our Facebook page Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Please follow us on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. In this lecture, we will see the projection of lines when it is placed in different orientation. So we have five different cases. So let us take first case number one. Here the line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So you can see in this figure the orientation of the line when it is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. The shadow of the point in the front view falls on the vertical plane and the shadow of the point from the top view falls on the horizontal plane and it is a point. So I'll just represent it in the orthographic projection that is your horizontal plane is rotated in clockwise direction. So friends please note here from projections of line onwards we will be focusing only on quadrant number one that is first quadrant. So in first quadrant VP is above XY line and HP is below XY line. So the top view will come as a point below XY line as you can see in this projection towards the right. So in the front view we have a vertical line that represents that represents the front view of the line AB and the top view is A in the bracket B and it is a point. It means that when you see from the top view you first see point A and below point A lies point B. So this is case number one when line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Coming to case number two the line is parallel to HP and parallel to VP as you can see in this figure. So in the front view the projection or the shadow of the line falls on the vertical plane and it is a straight line. In the top view also the shadow of the line falls on the horizontal plane and that is also a straight line and this is represented in the orthographic projection towards the right that is both front view and top view are parallel to xy line and they represent line a dash b dash and a b. So again this is in the first quadrant so front view will be above xy line and top view will be below xy line. Now friends let us see case number 3. So in this case the line is parallel to vertical plane but it is inclined to horizontal plane that is it makes an angle of theta with hp. Now in this case in the front view you see the inclined line and it is of the same length as that of the line so you can say the front view is in true length. In the top view also you see the line but that line appears to be a shortened line and it is not the actual length of the line. So you can see this projection towards the right you have a line inclined at angle theta to horizontal or xy line so that represents the front view of this line and the top view is parallel to the xy line and that represents the top view which is shortened and you can say it is the apparent length of the line. Coming to case number 4, here the line is parallel to HP but it is inclined to VP. So the projection just becomes reverse of what you have seen in case number 3. You will have the front view parallel to XY line and the top view inclined to XY line making an angle of theta. So in the front view when you see the shadow of the line is smaller than the actual length of the line so we can call that as the apparent length of the line whereas in the top view we have the original length of the line and that we can say it is the true length of the line. So the projection you can see towards the right of the figure. Now coming to case 4 when the line is inclined to both HP and VP. So in this case both the front view and top view appears to be inclined to HP and both of them are not in the true length and none of the views are parallel to XY line. So this is what you can see in the project, uh, saying projection towards your right. So one thing to note over here friends just coming to case number 3 and 4 when the line is parallel to any plane 
say for example in case number 3 the line is parallel to vertical plane so the front view of the line will be in true length and since it makes an inclination with the horizontal plane the top view of the line will be apparent length so in case number 4 it is parallel to horizontal plane so top view of the line will be in true length and since it is inclined to vertical plane the front view of the line will be apparent length so in case number 4 the line is inclined to both HP as well as VP so in this case the front view and the top view both will be in apparent length and now we will see in the forthcoming lectures that is taking up examples on these lines and we will be focusing or learning mainly the case phi type of problems so here given the apparent lengths we need to obtain the true lengths and given the true lengths of the line we need to obtain the apparent lengths of the line so we shall see the procedure in the next forthcoming lectures in projection of straight lines so friends that's it for today in this lecture i hope you have enjoyed this video please like and share this video with your friends please subscribe to our channel as well as like our facebook page and follow us on instagram and twitter the links are in the description below thank you very much friends